well tomorrow is coronation of prince charles he was 4 years old when his mother was crowned and now tomorrow on saturday he will be crowned as king as a citizen of a commonwealth country it is very intriguing and at the same time puzzling for me to see this uh, playing it seems like playing, playing king but at the same time there is a rich tradition as well in britain it's part and parcel of their culture and it plays a pivotal role in their soft power diplomacy worldwide especially in the commonwealth countries because he will become the head of the commonwealth which comprises 50 odd countries so there is an influence whatever said or done and it's beyond a symbolic event it has some implications as well so it's really interesting to see how this role has diminished over the time now this time they say it will be attended by around 2000 people so it's scaling down they're scaling it down but history has a funny way of repeating itself right it goes in cycles so we don't know 100 years down the line maybe there might be a revival of this concept of monarchies kings feudal systems fiefdoms we don't know so we are at a cross point where democracy is being challenged and there are popularist movements that are reviving themselves and we are at a crossroad and to have a legacy that is operating in the background it's subdued it's diluted now but yet again it's still there right after all these years it's still existing at least theoretically so there is history as a funny way of repeating itself so i'm just thinking down the line maybe there might be a revival of king and there might be a revival of colonialism 